Now, before we really get ripping into code and really start working on things, I want to throw a few tips related to working with brackets your way. So here's what I'm going to do over on the left hand side. Go ahead and double click on index.html if you are following along on your side. And these tricks, these tips that I want to show you will just help things move a little bit faster for you inside brackets. The first batch of options that I want to show you reside underneath the view menu. So I'm going to head up to the view menu here. Make sure that line numbers is turned on. If you're not sure what that is, that's the line numbers that appear over inside the, the vertical column there, over inside the sort of the margin area, if you will. This is really handy when you're trying to troubleshoot things. As a matter of fact, I was just troubleshooting something yesterday and I was writing down on a scrap piece of paper which line number I was working on so I wouldn't lose my spot. Or as a matter of fact, just yesterday as well, I was communicating with a another developer and I was showing him a file and I said, I think there's a problem on line number. It escapes me exactly what line number it was, but line number 12, there's an issue there. Can you take a look at it for me? Things like this. So line numbers come in very, very handy. So from the view menu, make sure you have line numbers turned on. Also, I would strongly suggest that you have word wrap turned on as well to avoid horizontal scrolling. These two options, by the way, line numbers and word wrap, they should be turned on by default. Okay. Now, the other option that I want to show you here is just above those two highlight active line. You can turn this on if you want. And what will happen is the active line that your cursor is currently on will obviously highlight as you can see there. This makes finding your place inside code a lot easier. It's entirely up to you if you want to have highlight active line turned on or disabled up to you. Okay. Now, the next item that I want to show you, this guy is critical. He's found underneath the edit menu down towards the bottom there, auto close braces. Make sure this guy is turned on. What that will do is as you begin typing out some HTML code, perhaps something like this, and I go and close a tag or an element, it will automatically throw in the closing tag for me, which is huge because if you're like me, you're always forgetting to close your HTML elements. Anyway, there you go. I wanted to show you that. The last thing that I want to show you is unique to brackets here as well. It's a feature that brackets has that no other code editor has. And this is called live preview. Essentially live preview connects brackets directly to Google Chrome and updates Chrome instantly and automatically as you and I are working on our web projects. So this means there's no need to save your projects and refresh your browser and you know this sort of thing constantly going back and forth. How do you activate them? Well, you could head to your file menu if you want and then head down to live preview. That's perfectly fine. Or you can use your handy keyboard shortcut. That's fine as well. But I think what most people do is they head for the lightning bolt icon way over in the top right corner. Go ahead and click on that guy and that will fire up a new instance of Chrome and it will load in the page, the current page that you have open inside brackets. And as I'm saying here, what's great about this is any change that you make here is automatically going to update inside Chrome for us. No saving, no refreshing, nothing like that, which is great. Now, I have found that live preview can sometimes flake out. Sometimes the connection is lost. Sometimes we do have to do an actual refresh, you know, things like this. The other thing that I wanted to mention too is it only works with Google Chrome, unfortunately, and it's only going to preview the current file that we have open inside brackets. Anyway, I wanted to bounce these, these tips, these tricks, these aspects of brackets off of you so that you can work a little bit more efficiently with your code.